Anniversaries. We have these for many reasons and for many things. Whether it's for a particular relationship, whether it's for a particular event or achievement, we have them for a variety of reasons. And for me, and for the channel, one of the most important ones is the anniversary of this channel's creation. The very first video released on January 19th of 2016, and I was 14 at the time. To say it wasn't cringy and bad would be a bit of an understatement. But that one video would launch a channel that would endure for eight years. And in that eight year run, I have done and experimented with many types of videos, content, and projects. During the early years, the videos that I made were ones that didn't really show that much promise and definitely didn't have a whole lot of quality. But they were the building blocks, the stepping stones if you will, to what I would become later down the road. Once we did finally make it to the 7th anniversary and the 7th anniversary video released, I was very proud of what we'd done up to this point. But I knew that the channel was fairly stagnant, as we didn't make a whole lot of progress, and we were still a ways away from a thousand subs, which was my ultimate end goal. Now starting out in year 7, the videos I produced were nothing special, the same thing that I always have done, just with higher quality. However, everything changed in the month of April. For those that don't know, April is Star Fox Month, an event that I hold every year celebrating the Star Fox franchise. And I released a video on April 6th of 2023 called The Lost and Forgotten Star Fox Mangas and Comics. This was the very first actual major deep dive into a topic into Star Fox that wasn't gameplay, nor was it tagged as straight talk. It was just a video on its own dedicated to that topic. And in a matter of days, this became one of the most successful videos I had ever released. And because of that, I decided to experiment. Going forward with Star Fox Month, I still made gameplay videos, but they were more structured and focused. I also started focusing on long plays instead of series, like I normally would do. And to back all this up, I continued to make actual full-blown deep dives. Whether it's talking about a concept of Star Fox Advance, or talking about Star Fox Competition Super Weekend, I got more information based. And going forward, this was actually a type of content that I rather enjoyed. Not only did it allow me to try my hand at something more experimental, it allowed me to sharpen my skills with research, since that is one of my better skills that I don't get to use all that often, but it also provided me an opportunity to make videos that no one else ever has, talking about topics that no one ever cared about. A great example of this is when I covered every single lost build of Star Fox 2, detailing every single one of them in a timeline. And after Star Fox Month finally wrapped up and everything was said and done, I decided to make a serious change. I decided to not only completely rebrand the channel, but I decided to continue this same style going forward, ditching the original way I would run Jetro 6. I followed this up with a deep dive into Breath of the Wild, the game that broke Zelda, and then I made an entire theory video based on the ancient hero possibly being Ganondorf. And because of that, it has also become one of my most successful videos on the channel. And not too long after all these Zelda videos were launched, I finally hit one of the biggest milestones any YouTuber, at least one of my size, can ever hit. My ultimate goal. 1,000 subscribers. This was something that was unprecedented, at least to me. In a matter of five months, I pretty much surpassed my goal of a thousand subs, and things just kept going up from there. We ended up making a video talking about the Tears of the Kingdom Dragons, we did an entire long play of Sonic and the Black Knight HD, we fixed the Zelda timeline, predicted Nintendo's future, I finally made one of the biggest, most promised and requested videos, being the game that killed modern Sonic, which was the deep dive of Sonic Forces that has been in the work for nearly six years. And the momentum just kept going. I finally decided to make the Jetro 6 Legacy playlist, condensing all my original videos from years 1 to year 6, all into a singular playlist, since they didn't really match the content that I put out nowadays, but I didn't want to delete them and I wanted to preserve their history. And I just kept making deep dive style videos. Everything from It Steals, one of my favorite most in-depth deep dives yet, and then I finally made one of the biggest videos of all time, the one that is currently number one on the channel. That being, every single Cancel Sonic project, dedicated into one video. And I said all this because of one main reason. I have been creating content on this channel for 8 years. And 8 years is a very long time. I've literally grown up on this channel. My maturity, my skill set, my love for games, as well as the content, my research abilities. I have grown in so many ways, and my life has changed in so many ways. That's not even to mention the amount of times that I've moved, the amount of times that the studio has changed. It's been an insane amount of time. I told you this entire story because of one main reason, and that's to say, thank you. The amount of progress that this channel has made at this point is insane, but none of it would be possible without you. 
Every single one of you. Now, yeah, I'm not the biggest YouTuber on the block. My video numbers are still pretty stagnant. They can go anywhere from like a few hundred to a few thousand. And once in a blue moon, I might actually break 10k with a very major video if the algorithm loves me. But that doesn't change the fact that 3,000 of you, 3,000 plus I should say, decided to take the time to sub to me, to watch the content I create, to help me with my dream. And I would be extremely selfish if I didn't take the time to say thank you. This anniversary is more than just celebrating the channel. It's celebrating you guys. It's celebrating the work that I've done, celebrating the content that you've helped inspire. It's celebrating the community that we've created here. Between being able to talk to you guys on Discord or in the comment section or make polls talking about our topics and things that we're interested in, you guys have breathed life into Jetro 6. And without you guys, me uploading content on here wouldn't really matter anymore. I would just be uploading it to the internet void, as it were, for no reason. But thanks to every single one of you, you've helped this channel grow. You've helped it expand. Because of you, Jetro 6 is a legitimate thing. It's a thing that I hold near and dear to my heart. And even though it might not be the biggest channel in the world, even though it might not be the most grandiose Mr. Beast or PewDiePie or Pyrocynical or whatever, it might not be that. But that doesn't make any less special. I've made videos on here that no one else has ever done. I've had the opportunity to make content that you enjoy. Whether it's to give you a smile on your face, whether it's to teach you something new, I've done a lot on here. And I wouldn't have done it without you. I wouldn't have done it without your inspiration, without your support. What I'm just trying to say is this. After eight whole long years, after growing this channel as much as we have, instead of bombastically showcasing all the insane stuff we've done, I thought I'd share the story of what we've done up to this point. Because it's not just my journey. It's ours. It's the community's journey. And after eight long years, I just wanted to take today, take this moment, to just stop and breathe and to focus on you and say thank you. Now, I know a thank you isn't all that much and I have something a little extra for you. If you guys remember, I made a promise a good while ago where I said once we passed a thousand subs, I would either do a mage stream or a furry stream, one of the two. And the winner of that poll back in November was a maid stream. Well, I've got the maid costume right here. I already ordered it. So uh, that stream will be going live tonight. And for those that see this video after the stream is already done, don't worry. The VOD will be available for you under the live tab on the channel. I really can't thank you enough. It means the world to me. And I hope you do enjoy that weird maid stream VOD. I, I honestly, God, cannot understand why you guys wanted it. But you did, so you got it. And for those that are wanting the furry stream, I know you guys didn't get it, but once we do hit 10,000 subs, if we hit 10,000 subs, I will do the furry stream, I swear, I promise, cross my heart. But until then, guys, the channel's future is very bright, and I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in store. I have so many projects, I already have an entire schedule ready for year 8, and I hope you guys enjoy what's in store. And finally, guys, this is just exciting out, I'll see y'all in the next one. Later. Thank you.